Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more TGC 2019. Now before we get kicking off with uh, another championship design course, I hope you enjoyed that little teaser trailer and that is from PGA Tour 2K21. Now we don't know the full details yet, always been all that's coming out on the PC, Xbox One, PS4 and the Nintendo Switch, but they will give us all the details on May the 14th, so stand by for that. <clears throat> really looking forward to it. Now, if you notice, it's called PGA Tour 2K21, so we've actually lost the golf club name, which I suppose if they're uh, updating it, going for a sort of better PGA sort of um, career mode and things like that, then that's fair enough. But we've had that TGC name since 2014. It's, it's a bit of a shame to lose it, but oh well, 2K are the, the publishers. So, and with all their sports games like NBA 2K and the wrestling 2K and things like that, yeah, it's, it's, it should be good. As I said, we will find out on May the 14th. So anything else I find out, I will let you know. So anyway, let's get this started, shall we? So we've got another TGC Tours 2020 Major Championship Design course. This one is called Nikusa Sands GC and it is by Mayday91283. Now, as you can see, the fairways are normal. The greens are firm. The green speed is fast. Everything is set to default. We're going to pin set number one. And it's coming in at 7,410 yards, I believe it was. So let's get going. Okay, nice looking first hole. Do love that sort of waste sand, waste bunker work that he's done here. Great view off this first tee. Nice, very open looking course. And you can see all these little humps and bumps and little nuances all over the fairways here. You never know what kind of lie you're going to have. Now it looks a bit... Uh, what was the other? Was it Mayday that did that course? Uh, Nikita Pines? Nisida Pines? Looks similar to that with the the old sand and that. Oh, let me get my cursor back over and we'll put the camera up. There we go, Sky Camp. So yeah, let's have a look at the plot. And we'll go down and take a look at the clubhouse after that. I mean, look how much, how long that must take to do that. The amount of waste bunker work in that sand. I like the way the sort of the rough area as well looks like sort of dried out. <clears throat> against the lush sort of green of the, the fairway there. So let's take a little look down. I mean, look at this. This must take a long time to do. Lovely work there. You've got a nice sort of stadium look to that big grandstand all the way around there as well. Okay, that's probably the 18th coming up here, I reckon. Because there's the first tee. We're going down that direction. So let's take a little look at the clubhouse here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, nice bit of rock work around this sort of right-hand side of the clubhouse and the steps there. I do like the different sort of texture here, this sort of herringbone sort of path that he's got all the way around the clubhouse here as well. And did I see... Where did I see? I'm sure I've seen like a driving range or something. I thought I did. A couple of houses over there. There's your practice green there. Ah, here we go. This is driving range area over here. Nice little practice green. A lot of little flags up there. So this is like a, I wouldn't say a pitch and putt, but it's a, like a driving range. You've got a couple of greens out there in the distance as well. A couple of shorter ones. So let's turn back around and head back down this first tee. Oh, we'll get another you look at over here. Now what's this? I first thought that was um, like a little water feature, but it's not. Look, it's like a, like a fire pit that he's got there. Very nicely done. It's a nice looking clubhouse, that old wood. And you've got lots of table chairs out there. You've got a few up there on the veranda. I do like that. He's got on a couple of different levels there. As it just comes down to like sort of steps. That's very well done. And I like the way he sort of built this step area up, up onto the, the veranda there. And a nice entrance to the clubhouse there as well. Okay, so we've seen the clubhouse. We've seen the driving range. Let's head down this first tee area. Again, as I said, great view off this first tee. Yeah, that must take a long time to do. <clears throat> now again, Mayday91283 is a fantastic designer. Uh, as I said, like a couple of the others, it's right up there, the top echelon of the designing community, I think. 
he's done some beautiful courses I mean look at all this here all that sand work the amount of hours these guys put into these courses is, is insane and that's another thing about the, the PGA Tour 2k21 it's got to have the course designer in it because that is actually what made this game stand out from from the crowd to be honest and I think that's why um Games like Tiger Woods and Rory sort of failed a little bit <clears throat> because you only had like, like a dozen courses or so, and you had to put, you only had like half a dozen courses or something when they first came out, and then you you paid out a little bit extra for the extra courses, and you're talking what a dozen to twenty courses, and then you look at the golf club game, hundreds of thousands of courses, fantastic designers just um, releasing courses every week. So that is what actually makes this game is the the designers and the, the courses that are in the game and of course you've got TGC tours over there with a, a few thousand um, players you're talking between two and three thousand players over at TGC tours battling it out every week so that's a, another thing that sort of made this game stand out from the rest I think because they do an absolutely fantastic job with the tours over there really do okay now this course is going to, again, it's all going to come down to playability. You haven't got the the old bells and whistles like a, a lot of the, like the waterfalls and things like that. This is all going to be down to playability. Uh, very natural looking course, but we'll see how the greens hold up. Uh, I know a few of you have had problems with the greens being either too small, too firm, very fast and firm. And I kind of agree with you. Once the settings for greens go past firm, uh, or up to firm, and you're talking between 180 and 187 green speed, it's a very unnatural sort of physics uh, for the ball hitting the green. I mean, you can go in there with lob wedges and gap wedges and that, and it's still running a good 10, 15 yards, which is totally just wrong. Now, I'm kind of hoping as well, I've always said this, if they do bring another game up, they, they kind of sort that. They, they need to fix out the spin. They need to fix out the sort of bite you get on the green as well. Because the, the, the spin that you're getting on the game just now, I mean, you take your gap wedge, for instance, 94 yards, but you put full loft on it and you can hit it 82 yards. It's a lot of distance coming off a, a, like a, a, a wedge and you're still not getting, if the greens are firm, you, you might get like a foot or something uh, backspin on it, which is absolutely ridiculous. And then I'm not saying hit the middle of the green and zip it right back off the green with that much spin on it, if you know what I mean, but it needs to have that little bit more. A little bit more bite to the greens, if you know what I mean, if you put a bit of loft on it. I think they should go a different way, actually, of putting loft on it. Similar to the way um, maybe Tiger Woods did it. The little ball down in the corner, and you just move the dot left, right, up and down for fade and draw. But no, none of this crap of um, spinning it in the air and things like that. So, anyway, we shall find out on the 14th of May. So, I'm looking forward to that. I'm kind of hoping there's a closed beer or an open beer as well because I've, yeah, I've been involved in all the, the closed beaters of the TGC since it started back in 2014 so here we are back on the first tee and again beautiful view off this first tee here do you know what with the crowds and that there I might just take a little screenshot there and that's going to be our thumbnail right let's get the camera and get the HUD back on and get this underway okay so what we've got Nakusa Sands, a GC Major, hole 1, 491 yards. It's a par 4, stroke index 6, 10 mile an hour wind, coming off from the left hand side. So I am going to aim down this left hand side and just let the wind just bring it back in for us. I do like the the T markers there, because as you know, these, this, these courses, the competition, uh, the winner is going to host the 2020 or 2021 now Olympics. And if you look at the little T-marker there, it's kind of got like a, the Japanese sort of flag as a T-marker. Okay, not a bad first drive. That wind's going to push it way over to the right-hand side. And you never know, with all these little humps and bumps on the fairways here, which way this is going to kick. I'll tell you what, we're getting a nice roll on that though. Very nice. It's going to roll all the way down to the bottom. 340-yard <clears throat> drive. Not bad at all. Okay, 160. So it's playing around about 164. Uh, we've got 160 with the 8 iron. We're going to stick with that. 
but we do not want to be sure that it should make it up to this sort of top shelf here. Now we're going to have a little bit of a left to right slope and with that 10 mile an hour wind as well. That's turning nice. Oh, I think that's turning too much actually. Get up the top shelf. Get up, 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 up. Is it going to stack? Oh, that just stuck up there. Just stayed there. Okay, with green speeds. Green speeds are 181, so that is not too bad either. And that, that stopped pretty quick. We did hit it on a, a kind of upslope there. Okay, 18 feet, one inch down. Uh-oh, I think that's pacey. Oh, too pacey. Way too pacey. Blimey neck. Oh dear. We could be starting off with a bogey here. I just hit that way too hard. Right, come on. Try and sort this out. Nine feet. Come on, we need to get the safe, yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, we're going to start off with a bogey. Not a good start. But we should be able to pull a few shots back, I hope. Because the nice looking big greens. Green speed's 181. Okay, who we've got here? Paul Casey, Phil Mickelson, Brooks Kapka, Billy Horshaw, Tom Lewis, Will Besseling, Richard Stern, Sam Burns, Kelly Smuja, and Big DJ coming in at the end there. Okay, hole two, 410 yards, par four stroke in next 10. Again, slightly looks a little bit downhill here. The fairway is actually split with this sort of rough section just cutting through down towards the green. Nine mile an hour wind coming off from the left hand side again. Now, driver, I think, has got a good chance of running out there because I think the fairways are firm. So I'm going to go with the two wood. And that nine mile an hour should push it, push it past that bunker, I think. Oh, that was a bit of a gnarly swing. Push that way over to the right. Let's hope it doesn't go too far. Oh, do you know what? I might have got away with the driver. But I think we're probably best to play safe there, since we're uh, one over already. Okay, 126. Seven mile an hour wind, and we've got a very small section of green to land on there. We've got a big slope left to right here, and you've got this sort of slope just going to feed the ball right off the green. So I'm going to actually play over to the left here. Oh, look at this, we're on a big slope as well. I'm going to put some loft on it. What did I say, 126, we're 122. Right, I'd rather let the ball hit that slope and feed down towards the, the pin. Oh crap, we hit the slope. But if you look at that swing, I pushed it way over, pulled it way over to the left. So I'm kind of hoping that's going to help us. Nope, that's going to come off. <coughs> Now it looks like there's no fringe there on the green either, so it's just coming straight off onto the fairway. So we're going to be chipping this on. That'll do it. We'll pick up the par here. Yeah, probably could have put a lot more loft on that, I think. Okay, hole three, 617 yards, par five, struck index 18. It's a quite a lengthy par five, this one. And again, that sand, the waste bunker works, absolutely beautiful. It's done a cracking job on it. It looks pretty straightforward. Let's have a look at the, we're not probably not going to reach green in two anyway, with 617 yards. But the pin is quite, ooh, it's not far off the front, front right. Oh, we've got the wind with us as well, so that's going to help a bit. Right, I seem to be pushing a little bit to the right. <clears throat> Let's see if we can sort that out. Have a little drink of Iron Brew there while you watch that. I should actually get Iron Brew to sponsor me. <laughs> the amount of Iron Brew I drink is insane. Okay, 284 yards, 20 down, so it's playing run about 277. Now, I think we're going to reach that, but I'm going to play out here. 
and we're going to put a little bit of draw on it because I don't want to go straight towards the pin just in case we hit this sort of rough section here. So let's play out there and we'll put a little bit of draw on the ball. <clears throat> It's turning not bad. I could have done with a little bit more, I think. Let's have a look when it lands. Oh dear. Right, I've just lost connection there. I'm just going to pause the recording until I get it back. Okay, right. Now, I lost record. Uh, I lost connection there for some reason. I'm still connected to internet, so you actually missed that shot. I actually missed it land as well, but you probably won't notice it because I'm going to edit it out. <laughs> and we're going to take the shot again. So here we go. Now, what did I do here? Uh, two wood. And I put a bit of draw on the ball. Now let's hope it works out. Oh, come on. That first, <clears throat> that first strike as well was a peach. That was heading right towards the blooming green. And then it goes and hits a very slow. That's one of them random HB very slows as well. Because I know for a fact I did not hit it that slow. That's a shame that because we would have been on the green for an eagle, I think, now. Okay, sand wedge. Let's drop it down to the 24 and we can go with a full swing. I no, I'm going to go with a 30. We're going to put a bit of loft on it. Okay, right. So we get the perfect downswing, which is good. Is it going to hold up? That held up lovely. So we're still there for a birdie. So, as I said, that's a, that's a shame that, because I think that was going to be a lovely shot. But we still pick up the birdie, which isn't too bad. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I just dropped connection for some reason. And I said my internet was still on, so. Hole 4, 495 yards, par 4, stroke index 8. Again, that waste, the waste sand, that waste bunker work. Either side of the fairway, very nice. Okay, you've got a, a bunker right in the center of the fairway here. That's probably going to be round about where your landing zone is. But you've got a nice approach into the green now. Okay, a little bit of wind. I think we're going to go down this left-hand side. But if you look over this right-hand side, it looks a little bit more bumpy. And I think over this left-hand side, you've got a, probably a better approach into the green as well. It takes that right-hand side rough out. Oh, that's a better drive. Peach of a drive, that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, nice run on the ball there as well. 336 yards. Okay, that leaves us 160, 16 up. So it's playing around about 165. And we are 160 with the eight iron. Right. Ooh. With a little bit of wind against us there. I'm going to down loft it just a touch. Okay, that's nice. Looks like I've kind of sorted my swing out here. Oh, beautiful. All right, come on, Bolt. Slow up. Slow up. There we go. Hopefully we'll pick up the birdie here. And we do. Nice one. Course challenge completed. One putt par. Okay, Phil Mickelson's still at the top there. He's not an American anymore, by the looks of it. <laughs> Brooks Kepka, Tom Lewis, Richard Stern. Anybody else come in here? Paul Waring, Paul Casey, Adam Long, and DJ is still there with KT Kim. Hole 5, 362 yards, par 4. Stroke index 60. Now, I'm kind of hoping as well, talking about uh, the PGA 2K21, the amount of money that 2K has got behind them, I'm kind of hoping you do have proper PGA pros on in the game. So we don't have to go around changing the names and things like that from just the, the, the bog standard AI. Because they've got the PGA license and to be honest, 2K don't do things by half. I mean, if you look at their, um, their NBA 2K and things like that, the games are absolutely beautiful. Now, it still kind of looked like the Uni engine in that little teaser trailer. I was kind of hoping that they would give HB a brand new engine, a new engine to work on. 
Yeah, one of the engines that like that maybe they use on Red Dead Redemption or something like that, but it, it kind of still looks like Unity engine. We shall see though. But hopefully it's going to be a nice upgrade. Okay, 92 yards, 90 feet up, so it's playing around about 95. We went 94 with a lob wedge. So we're going to put a bit of loft on this. And we're on a right to left slope, so we'll aim it to the right of the pin here. That kind of stayed straight. <laughs> that slope <laughs> didn't move at all, did it? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, put too much loft on it and it caught that slope. Hit on the upslope, stop, and then just come back out a little bit. I should have went straight for the pin there. Yeah, look at that. Stopped on that upslope there. I should have had a better look at the green. Okay, 14 yards, three feet up. I'm going to drop it down to the 10 yard. So the sand wedge here. That should run us up to the, the pin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 I thought that was going to come back again now. Okay, this is for four, so let's not miss this. Get in. Oh, yes. Nice save. Nice pass save, that one. Okay, hole six, 220 yards. Par three, stroke index two. Again, lovely sand work. I love all the sort of little long, wispy grasses he's got going in between it as well. Okay, pin looks absolutely probably to the, the back of left of the green here. Okay, 233, 27 down, so it's playing around about 224. We've got 225 with the two iron. 203 is not going to make it. I'm going to have to go with this two iron. I think that's going to be too long though. I'm going to have to try and put a little bit of loft on it. Oh, that is not a bad strike though. I still think with the run you're going to get on a two iron. This might go past, yeah, it's going to be way too long. The 203 wouldn't have made it, definitely not have made it. So that's going to leave us another chip up onto the green. Hopefully we'll pick up the part. Hey, been right in between clubs. Okay. I'm going to drop it down again. One more club. There we go. Yeah, I always drop it down a club. The club that it usually gives you just seems to be a little bit too much. Because <clears throat> if you look at the club that said 14 yards, that is the actual carry distance on it. Well, it was 11 yards actually, I think. The, the actual pin was 14 yards, so I dropped it down to the 10, which is the carry distance you get, and then you're going to get that run on, so. Okay, hole seven, 487 yards, pop up, stroke in next 14. Okay, another slightly downhill hole, this one. I wonder if on the way back, the, the back nine, we're going to start gradually going maybe uphill. Okay, that wind has dropped right down now. One mile an hour. This is when you should be scoring. Oh, we hit so fast, but that's quite a nice wide open fairway down there. That should be okay. And it's just caught that little slope that's going to bound right down there. Just over 330 yards. Oh, 340. 341 yards. That's not a bad drive. Oh, and the wind is absolutely zero. Look at that. Okay, 153. Six up, so it's playing 155. 148 with a 99. I think we should be good with that. Come on. Oh, it's going a little bit left of the pin, it looks like. But that is not too bad. Hopefully we're going to pick up another birdie here. What you should start doing with uh, with these courses, especially the, these tough courses, actually looking at the pin and picking your spot uh, where you're, you're actually below the hole like I am here. So that's 10 feet, 3 inches up. Should hardly turn. There we go. And we grab another birdie. So picking up a little bit more. Well, minus two. We did start off that first hole with a plus one. Hole eight, 510 yards. Par four, stroke index 12. So a lengthy par four, this one. 510 yards. 
And it looks like that green is absolutely protected with them two bunkers right in the, the sort of front now. Ooh, that looks hard little pin position, that one. We might have to aim to the left and try and let the slope run it down, I think. We shall see. Oh, it's another fast, but again, wide open fairway. That should be okay. See, this is what I was saying in a couple of courses. You have the really, really like um, sort of cart path thin fairways. You don't need them. I mean, look at this wide open fairways, but you've always got like a camber on the on the fairway. You're either hitting from left to right, or you're hitting from right to left, or you're <coughs> excuse me on a downhill, or you're on an uphill slope. That's the way the the courses should be, I think. Okay, so what we've got here 190. So it's playing 185. Oh, I think. I'm going to actually go with the 7 iron. Let's have a look. Yeah, so the 7 iron hits around about here somewhere. It's going to run <clears throat> and hit this slope and feed its way down towards the pin. So let's aim this right about there. And if it gets on the green, that should be okay. But we're on a bit of a right to left slope, so we'll aim it a little bit more to the right here. Okay, that's, oh, it's going a little bit more left than I thought. But is it going to get on the green? Is it going to hit the slope? And it is. And then it should come off this slope here. No, it's going to stay there. <coughs> Excuse me. So that is going to leave us a pretty tough putt. Let's come back a little bit. Now, maybe if I put a little bit of down loft on that, got the roll on the ball, it might have fed a little bit more down towards the, the pin now. Okay, 31 three inches down it's got huge break on it this one massive break on it oh that was so close now because that was coming off that huge slope there that was it was that's probably as, as about as good as i could have got it because there's no way it was slowing down that quick coming off that slope there But we pick up the pot. Okay, hole nine, 226 yards, par three, stroke index four. All right, slightly uphill par three, this one. Again, lovely looking hole. Got the sun just beaming down here. Okay, 225, 15 up, so it's playing around about 230. And we've got 224 again, see, right in between the clubs. And I'm kind of hoping this two iron is going to hit on that upslope. A little bit of an upslope right there. Oh, that's going left. Pulled it a little bit left. And it's long. <clears throat> Very long. <laughs> that's left us quite a, quite a big putt. Let's hope we just get it close to the hole here. And we'll pick up the par. Okay, 36, uh, one inch down. Bit of a turn, right to left, uh, left to right on it. Yeah, come on, turn a little bit more. Ah, oh, that that should. Oh, come on, slow up. Oh, that rolled on a bit more than I thought it would. Now, come on, don't drop another shot here. Oh, we get it. Nice one. Hole 10. On to the back nine. 455 yards. Pop four. Stroke index three. Yeah, right. Yeah, we're kind of sl slightly going uphill now. It's kind of a little bit downhill all the way around this front nine. And the wind is still pretty calm, three mile an hour. Now, because that's slightly uphill there, we might not reach this section. So we're gonna have to play down here, I reckon. Just to the edge of this corner. And if it hits the rough, it's got a good chance of bouncing off onto the fairway. K 
Okay, it looks like we've kind of sorted our swing out a little bit. It's a bit better than what? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Slow up, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, damn. So again, with no first cut, this is going to be pretty thick stuff. So 73 to 80%. 165, 50 up. So that is playing. Mm, right about 181, 182. Now, will that make it? Ho, ho, ho. Do you know what? I am actually going to go with a two eye on here. I don't even know if this will make it. I'm going to aim it over this direction. So there's a little bit more fair weight to play with. Oh, that was a flyer. Look at that. Tell you what, that actually worked out better than I thought it would. Is it going to come on? Come on. <laughs> if that came back on the green, I think that would have uh, made its way down towards the, the hole there. Okay, 19 yards, one foot down. I am going to go. Little flop shot here. Bit of loft. We're on a nasty downhill slope as well. So we get the Oh, crap. No, nope. pull up, pull up, pull up. No. Nope. That was that downhill slope. <clears throat> Maybe I should have chipped it <laughs> in hindsight. But, uh, oh, this is for par as well. Come on, can we get this? Can we get this? I never get chips. <gasps> oh. So we're going to be hitting another bogey here, boys and girls. Right, a little sort of double breaker here. These can be a... Oh, you see it turning away right at the end there? John Ram's in there now as well. Matthew Fitzpatrick, Cameron Smith. Xander Schufle has just come in there as well. Okay, hole 11, 166 yards, par 3, stroke index 13. Ah, these are the ones I like. The little par 3s. Okay, it's I think we're going to go... Ooh. Let's have a look at a slightly uphill green, so we're going to have to go with a 7 iron. And we'll put a bit of loft on it as well. Oh, come off it. That's going to go right, and that's going to hit that slope. And it's going to go off. Nope, it's actually held. So, ooh, where's it going? Where's it going? It's still going. Oh, it's caught that little slope there. Come on, boat. Right. That's left as a lengthy putt. Oh, look at that. That's nasty. Okay, 36 feet, one foot up. Right, slow up for me. Come on. Nice distance on it. I should have made that way more to the right, though. But hopefully we'll pick up the par. Okay, hole 12. 617 yards, par 5. Stroke index 11. Okay, let's have a look. Again, that bunker work, that waste bunker work is absolutely beautiful. Love the way he's done it. Okay, another lengthy par 5, so we're not going to reach the green to the way the, the fairway net's situated here, I don't think. Okay, this big bunker right in the middle here, so we're not going to go down this. We're going to have to go the long way. We're going to have to play it down this left-hand side, which is going to add a little bit extra distance onto it. It's a fast, but it's quite a big fairway down there. I'm kind of hoping it stays on. Oh, look at the look at the roll on that. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ho, 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 ho. Just held the fairway there. 341 yard drive. OK, 
Okay, we should reach this section over here, I'm hoping. Oh, we hit so fast. That's pulling it again to the left. Is it going to make it? No, that's going to go off. Oh, lovely, lovely little kick that. Just kicked us back right onto the fairway there. That was, that was definitely going off if that was flat there. And that's not a bad little lie we have there as well. 62, so it's playing 65. Let's put a bit of loft on that. Oh, we get the perfect, perfect. Nice. Oh, sugar. How did I hit? I mean, I put a bit of loft on it. I didn't think I hit it that short. Right, so it's a chip. And putt for par. That should have been about it. That should have took a little bit more time on that pitch, I think. <clears throat> I'm just get comfortable in my chip. Okay. Hole 13, 497 yards. Par 4, stroke index 5. I like the way he's got his uh, crowd sort of spread out all over the place as well. Instead of just little pockets here and there. Okay, just look straight forward drive. Nice. Beautiful drive. Okay, just over 300 yards. Over to the left hand side of the fairway. Slightly uphill shot here. So that's 180. So it's playing around about 183. And we've got 183 with the six iron. Little tiny bit of down loft here, I think. Oh, that's heading right for it. Depends on the distance. Might be short, is it? Oh, no, that's okay. Oh, and that ran quite a bit. It looks we're going to be a little downhill putt, I think, yeah. Okay, 11 feet, 4 inches down. That looks pretty level. So we're just going to go a little tap. Let the slope take it. Turn, turn. Oh, you son of a... And you've seen how hard I hit that. Just a tiny little tap. And of course, when you hit it that soft, it really does um, take the break a lot more than what you'd think it does. Oh, round the hole and in the back door. K hole 14, 485 yards, par 4, stroke index 1. So hardest hole in the course so far. But from here, it looks kind of straightforward. Because you've got a nice angle into the green there. There's nothing sort of protecting that pin. Let's have a look at the green. Okay, you've got a bit of a slope right in the front of the green now. Bit of an upslope. Okay, right. Now, we went a little bit long last time, didn't we? So I think that's probably why this is a stroke index one. Because with the driver, I think we're going to run out. So I'm going to have to take this down to the two wood, which is going to leave a bit of a longer distance into the green. That should be absolutely fine. Right in the middle. Okay, a bit of a right to left lie here. 219. Uh, so it's playing around about 222. 203 is certainly not enough. 225 is way too much. I'm going to have to go with a 4 iron. But I'm going to have to put some down loft on this. And if you look at the front of that green now. Oh, we hit so fast. There was a huge bump, so this might kick anywhere. That's not too bad. So I'm going to go another little chip here. Okay, 13 yards. Two feet up. Should I drop it down one? No, I think we're going to stick with the, the old sand wedge here. Yeah. 
That'll do. A fast and a slow. Alright, so this is for part. Okay, we're, um, we're playing pretty steady. Ah, Justin Thomas just came in there as well. Okay, another little par three. 100, uh, 159 yards. Par three, stroke index seven. This is hole 15. Okay, 12 feet down. So it's playing around about 144. 136. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That should be okay, you know. That should make it. Come on. Be the club. Oh, yes. Lovely. <clears throat> Uh-oh. No, no, no. Oh, thank goodness for that. I thought I was going to come back now. Okay, now can we pick up the birdie? Turning. Yes, nice. That takes us down to two under, I think. Okay, hole 16, 426 yards, par 4, stroke index 9. Don't forget, I always play with the AI on very hard, so they do tend to score quite high, even on difficult courses. Okay, let's aim down here. That should be fine, as long as we do not hit a fast. And we don't. We hit a perfect, perfect. Right down the center. That'll do. Okay, not a bad lie actually. 123, 11 up, so it's playing round about 127. We're gonna go up to the pitching wedge here. And we're gonna put a bit of loft on it. It's turning nice. Oh, yes, that'll do lovely. And um, we should pick up another birdie. Yeah, you're getting a good reaction on the greens, to be honest. I think he's got these greens absolutely spot on. Okay, hole 17, 620 yards, par 5, stroke index 17. Another quite a lengthy par 5. That's what, three par 5s over 600 yards? Again, beautiful view. Love the sort of wide open look to the course here. Tell you what, let's hope they, they fix the rendering distances on the new game as well. You see it just sort of popping in. And I've got quite a high powerful PC. You still get the sort of poppins. Oh, it's a fast, but that should be okay. And it's just sort of kicked off to the right. Lovely. 331 yards. Okay, we've got a big left to right lie here. 295. Now we can reach the green here, but there's no point because we're going to end up around about here somewhere. And that is just too big to putt. So let's drop it down. And we need to try and get around about here somewhere. Here we go. That'll do fine. Oh, it hits a slow. I didn't take my little practice swing. No. That should be okay. It's going to bounce off there to the left, it looks like. Yep, that's fine. That probably worked out better than what I was aiming for anyway, because I was aiming a little bit more to the left. Okay, 79. And 5 feet up. So that's playing around about 81. Let's drop it down. Drop it down to 73 and we'll just let it run, I think. Oh no, yep, yeah, that was me. I felt that as soon as I... But of course, let's hope they sort that out as well. A slow downswing. Yeah, the ball further for some reason. <laughs> I really do hope they sort that out. Because that actually should have landed a lot shorter. Okay, come on. We need this for the par. Yes, nice one. 
What's up? What's up? Par or birdie? Oh, that was a birdie. Three birdies on the bounce there. Not bad. Let's hope we can do it on the 18th. All 18. Oh, we're finishing on a par 3. 168 yards. Par 3, stroke index 50. Do you know what? I am actually going to change. Oh, look at that. He's got a scoreboard over there. How did he do that? Let me just have a little look at that. Oh, my cursor again. Keep forgetting. It's over on the other screen. I can't get the bloody camera thing up. There we go. Let's have a look at this. How's he done that? What the hell is that? He's, he's put his name up there at the top, look. <laughs> Minus six. You also got, got Grayson, Jeffords, Griffith. They're all, um, there's Scott Doyley down there as well. What was my name? Yeah, Jim Gem down there. <laughs> right. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I do like that. So I think this, there we go. That's a nice screenshot. You've even got the, the clubhouse there. Let's go a little bit closer and you can get the, you can see the names. And I'm going to take the green grids off as well because you can do that with this here. As you see, green grids have gone. Let's take the picture. And put the green grids back on. Right, sorry about that guys, but I had to do that. And we want the HUD back on, don't we? We certainly do. Right, there we go, HUD. Look, oh, I'll tell you what, I really hope they, they keep this tool in for us as well. 183, 24 up. So that is playing, ooh, about 191, I make that. I think we should be good with a six iron. It's gonna hit and it's gonna run on a little bit. Okay, we hit a peach for our last shot. That wind's turning it in quite nice. Oh, go on. Go on. Oh, look at that. So close. And that ran on quite a bit. Okay. 15 feet, 4 inches up. Oh, no. We missed it. Damn. I was kind of hoped pick up a birdie there for the last hope. I do like this sort of uh, stadium sort of view that he's got around that 18th there. So there you go guys, that was Mayday 91283's uh, entry into the TGC Tours 2020 Major Championship Design course and that was Nakusa Sands. I loved it, that was a fantastic course, one of my favourites so far. Yeah, good reaction on the greens. Greens played really, really well. Nice wide open uh, course, wide open fairways. Really, really well done. Really nice course. So again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Stay safe. And if I do find out anything else about uh, 2K21, I will let you know. Catch you again next time.